What's up? My name is not important, and it is time for Hot World's devlog. It's the last time <clears throat> I was showing you my animation player thing uh, and the, the process I used to generate animations. And finished all that. Finished everything I was doing. So now I'm fixing up the moves. They're all working again, except some of them. So I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd go through the process and let you watch as I use my wonderful utility that I just made. So what do we got? Actually, I should check. I should figure out what those two moves are. I think I can, I can look at them in here. Okay. So here's the utility. <clears throat> here's my, uh, here's my little frame data tool. Um, so I think the ones that are screwed up, I think it's low five. Yeah. And low five, and it might not be another one, one of the splits. I think that's low, oh, low three. Okay. So low five and low three. <clears throat> All right. So there's two things we got to look at. We got the animation player to scoot the, scoot the frames around like, like I was showing last time. Um, let's do low three first. Okay, so what's likely going on here is the hitbox is getting enabled and disabled way earlier because it's using the defaults. So for low three, the way we mess with the frame data, it would be nice if I had a way, like if I kept the names over here so I could see which one I'm messing with, you know? Oh, but I have this that turns off the, turns off the little preview thing so I can see it better, okay. So this does four damage. I kind of wanted to do more than four damage. I don't know. I don't have a good sense for how how much damage is a lot of damage and what's good. And I mean, more damage is better, right? But you know what I mean. Okay. <clears throat> so when should this come out? Uh, frame five seems way too way too early. Let's just just see how frame seven looks. Well, actually, okay. Wait. So. The animation looks pretty good. So where does the animation actually come out? Where does the hitbox happen? That's frame nine. So let's just do frame nine. See how it feels. Um, do we want her to be down longer than that? I think so. So let's let's scoot this stuff out. We'll make it a little bit more active. See the unlock is happening way early too. So we're gonna have to change the recovery frames as well. So let's see. What does that look like? We want it to be like three, but actually we don't need to hold it out to make it look good. We'll see why. Let's see. What is this? Okay. Frame nine. So we'll head it at frame nine. Yep. That's what we're doing. And then active frames. What is that? One, two, three, four, five. It doesn't really matter because like, even if you don't, list the active frames. I guess I should always match it up with the, the key where the hitbox goes away, you know, because um, otherwise that's misleading. Okay, so five active frames and how long do we want? How long do we want it? So everything right now hits done is 14 frames. So if I have, it's, it's, uh, the hits done, I'm counting it from the the first frame as you know if it if you land the hit on the first active frame which we assume you do then um this would be minus plus three which is way too fast okay so five active frames and we can give it like you know we can give it like nine let's just see how that looks mm, right that's 14 let's give it let's make it a little bit slower this is not going to be a combo starter we want this to be wait what that doesn't seem right where'd it go Oh, I changed something. No, okay. Minus two. That's fine. Um, okay, so we save it. We apply that. Oops. And then it should show up. There it goes. It shows up. And oh, that's a problem I haven't fixed yet. <laughs> uh, it doesn't clear out the, the, the unlock thing to prevent you from loading. So, okay. So now we have low three. <clears throat> I could rename the, I could give it a good display name too. That could be something. Cause right now, um, let's see, let's look at the data. See right now the, the, it just automatically puts a, 
fake name on it because the display name I want to have like spaces and stuff but this is this is like the move key I don't want to have any spaces and I want them to be short because um, this is stuff I use to actually execute and I don't want to like have a whole huge name in the animation list so the way I do that is I have a JSON file and my resources over here and that has move description somewhere oh no it's not in the JSON folder okay Okay, so what's TMP low? No, was it low three? Yeah, yeah, low three. There we go. Okay. What should the description be? That seems good. And we're going to do, OK, save load. I don't know if that's going to refresh right away. It might. Uh, no, low three. No, not yet. I probably have to restart. Um, I'll just re reset this and see if it see if it takes. It should. Because I think I have that getting loaded in an auto load. So it will only be when it starts the game. Okay. Low three, low three. Nice. There it goes. Okay. So we fixed the name. And now, in order to send it, I have this little safety. Because <laughs> uh, this is where we take it from the staging area, the animation. And um, it's not picking up the name there. It's supposed to tell me that I'm, which move I'm sending. So that takes it from the staging area and writes it to the actual character in the game. So let's go verify that it worked in the debug training arena. I think she has it equipped on the three, button three. Yep, there we got splits. Sick, can you see that? See my nice uh, screen shake? Can't quite reach both of them. Here we go, here we go. Oh, it's not hitting both. Oh man, the hitbox. Okay, I'm gonna have to do two hitboxes because one hitbox can only hit one character or one one hurt box. Like as soon as it does a hit, it, it gets disabled, I think. I don't know about that. Okay, so what's the other one? Oh, low, low five, we already. Okay, well, let's go fix slow five. So we did one. So I've been doing a lot of them in batches, but I also want to test this one off, you know, because like this will be the ideal way to to tweak a move. Um, where was I? Edit stats, slow five. Okay. That should do damage, and it should have upwards knockback, I think. Do some damage. Low, how much we, low three does eight. This one's so good, but okay, so to compensate for it being really good, we're gonna give it big startup. Um, Cause that looks like a like a heavy hit, you know? So we'll give it like, like some ridiculous, not 87. <laughs> not that big. Straight up. Straight up. Okay, and this should have a pretty active hitbox. Um, I gotta go look at the, gotta go look at the animation. Go look at the frames. So this might be one where we want to scoot the, scoot the boxes around, right? Hmm. Well, let's let's apply this. We save. We hit load. We go check this. It should update in a second. There it goes. Okay, so now since the since the move's coming out there, then we want to move all our all the keys, right? Um, so where does she actually kind of? That's the first one. So Put that over there. These also. It's kind of annoying that like all these. Maybe I should try to 
group the ones that I need to shift manually all together. I think I could do that. Um, she like up and then goes down. Yeah, that's probably good. That looks good, right? Damn. Okay, so it needs to be way more active. So, oh wow, okay. So that's what, eight, 14. Um, can't do math, can't do math, can't do math. Is that eight active? No. Six active frames. No. Yeah. <laughs> Six active frames if I do that. So I'll, I'll make it, I'll make it seven because I think, yeah, otherwise it won't, it won't, that last, that last box won't hit. So we'll do seven active frames. Um, and then we'll do, which one, low five? Seven active frames, and since it's seven, we'll want to give it something also, maybe we'll have more. This is also not a, um, okay, minus three. That looks pretty good. When does the hitbox actually go away? Oh, it doesn't. I don't have a. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to put a. I'll have to put a recovery frame a uh, frame for you know visuals on the end of this, but looks pretty good for now. Oh, okay. I need to write down that I need to fix this at some point. Uh, come on, man. Come on, man. Because that's gonna make these moves broken. All right. Now we go back here, return, we prime, find a low five. That is the one I want. Did it work? Yeah. Apply, yes. Okay, what are my things I need to fix? So I have my little, um, where is it? Where is it? There it is. So instead of using Jira or whatever dumb little postcard thing, I use um, Visual Studio Code plugin called ToDo, something like that. And it lets you make text files. And I make big, huge text files that are just checklists. OK, let's see. Uh, multiple unlock keys in method track 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 <clears throat> um what's the other one? Oh, the uh what do you call it apply apply warning for a single move doesn't go name of move i mean who am i trying to impress with that but you know that's that's gonna bother me i like to make things nice for myself you know Okay. Okay, so we did that. Let's go see. Let's see if it worked. And then we'll have all our moves all nice. Sick. Uh oh. What happened? What, <laughs> what happened? No. Wow, I don't know what's going on. If you're not aware, if you get like your camera stuck somehow, you can click this little button here in Godot and it'll show you, it'll make your camera track um, what you're seeing in the editor instead of, where did Ra go? Is he gone? Spawns locals. Ra, where is he? What the hell? And AK is still screwing the camera up, so I can't. It's something I don't I don't know about. It never lets me like there's this, like some kind of limit on there he is how far you can drag the, the view port in the editor. It's weird. It's like way over here. But AK is screwing it up so I can't go over there. Uh, 
There he is, I guess. I think she's supposed to be making noises. Okay, this is my this is my flying kick, right? Yeah. This one you have to delay your hit. And I can't see what I'm doing, it makes it harder. Okay. Okay. No. He's just done for. He's gone. It's fine. Hmm, that was weird. I wonder if I'll be able to make it happen again. All I did was use the move, right? Maybe I gave it too much knockback. Oh, it's because I gave it like hella knockback. Yeah. Ah, I gave it 90 magnitude instead of 90 degrees. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Troubleshooting, man. That's how you do it. Here we go. Here we go. Low five. Don't have 90. Like 10. And then this will be 90. Save, load, return, low five, low five, 90 degrees and 10 knockback. Um, fly, yes. Another thing I was thinking about was maybe like, it'd be cool if I could set up an export config that lets me run this as a standalone, you know, so that I could like have it open while I'm playing the actual game. Nice. Now I can do my aerial combo. Oh, not quite. <laughs> I need to make it a little easier to juggle. I think that'll be cool. Ooh. I think these moves are too powerful. That's a problem for future me. Cool. Tune in next time.